Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of WooCommerce booking and reservation system. Now this particular plugin will create dynamic booking and reservation system uh, for the products there and will in turn convert your store into a dynamic event driven site. This plugin introduces a new product type that is bookable products. This empowers the store owners to sell bookable services as a product with respect to hourly and daily reservations. And this plugin will completely match with the services such as motels, hotels, events, and tourism itself. Apart from that, it will provide two types of booking for the products that are many booking in one day and one booking for many days. The bookable product type lets the admin manage all the necessary booking service attributes such as the dates available, bookable period, uh, slot period, stock value, and the price multiplier settings as well. So in today's video tutorial, I'll just be taking you through the workflow at the customer's end, how the customers can check these uh, bookable products that are the many bookings for one day and one booking for many uh, days. So here you can see that under the many bookings for one day, we have different booking products like the uh, bike ride booking, doctor's appointment, movie. And for the one booking for many days, we have the event, hotel booking and uh, the hotel booking as well. Uh, itself so before we proceed further with the workflow of this particular plugin please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up so as a customer first uh, let's check the many bookings for one day so uh, here we have a bike uh, ride booking product that we have so here's the product page of the booking uh, product itself and uh, here you can find the name of the uh, booking product its price uh, is visible here the location if i tap on the location uh, the location would be shown on the google maps just below that and then we have the related products as well apart from that we have the enter booking info section wherein the customers need to select the booking date uh, select the booking slot and enter the quantity and then they can tap on the book now button to make a booking so let's uh, choose a booking date. I'll choose it as 12th of this month and I'll be choosing a slot between 1.20 p.m. and 2.35 p.m. in the afternoon. And then I'll be selecting the quantity as two units for the bike ride there. And I'll be tapping here on the book now button. Now, after tapping the book now button, the product would get added into the cart. And if I go to the cart here, we can find there are two units and per unit we have the price as 1500. So the total accounts to three thousand uh, dollars there and here's the bike ride booking product there now let's tap on the checkout button on the checkout page here the customer will find the details of the booking product under the uh, your order summary here so here we have two units of the bike riding booking and we are going to pay three thousand and the booking is starting from uh, the 12th of august 2021 1 pm in the afternoon till uh 12th august uh 2021 2:35 p.m. in the afternoon itself now after selecting the payment method the customer can tap on the place order button thereafter and after the order has been placed uh, the customer can find the order details once again that's the booking uh, product name along with the units that have been purchased the price the booking from and the booking till values there itself so this was about uh, many bookings in a day now let's check out the one booking for many days that includes events hotels and uh, uh, other uh, uh, product types there so let's uh, check this carnival fest so i'll just tap on that this is the product page of uh, the booking product itself and uh, here's the name of the product the price the location that's new york usa so if i tap on the location i can see the particular location of this particular event on the google maps itself then we have the uh, enter booking info section wherein the customer needs to select the booking date bo booking slot and he needs to enter the quantity there so let's uh, select the booking date as 12th and let's uh, uh, choose a slot from 12th till 13th and the time is from 12 pm to 10 pm there and let's uh, select the quantity as two and then tap here on the book now button so this particular uh, uh, product uh, or the booking product that we are going to book is uh, uh, one booking for many days uh, so that's why it's uh, uh, from 12th till 13th and after that the customer can easily check out with the particular booking product here the customer can see the uh, uh, booking product name along with the units and the uh, total price there 
apart from that we can see the booking from it's from 12th august 2021 12 pm till 13th august 2021 10 pm there after selecting the uh, particular uh, booking uh, uh, what we say as the uh, the uh, the payment method here the customer can place the order by tapping on the place order button itself and after placing the order the customers can find the details of the order that they've placed with the uh, product name the booking product name its a uh, unit uh, the quantity that have been purchased the amount and the booking from until values are there so that was how the customers can easily access the many bookings uh, for one day and one booking for many days and can make a booking there uh, within your web store now let's hop onto the admin backend panel and let's see how the admin would be able to uh, create these bookings from the admin backend panel and the different configuration options that the admin gets after the installation of this particular plugin so we'll be logging into the admin backend panel by entering the username and the password and after you've successfully installed this particular uh, woocommerce booking and reservation system you'll find this particular option on the side panel that's the woocommerce booking system and under that you'll be having booking products booking orders and settings option now under the booking products the admin will find the complete list of booking products that the admin has created and from here the admin can edit any of the booking products by tapping on the edit uh, button the admin can also do mass sections like you can delete any of the uh, bookable products by choosing the delete option and tapping on the apply button apart from that the admin can edit any of the slots for the uh, respective booking products so here you can see the admin can see the uh, product name the start date end date uh, the status and the booking type here we have the many bookings in one day one booking for many days and from here the admin can edit the slots as well by tapping on the edit slots button and then uh, the admin can choose to uh, keep open or close any of uh, the slots uh, for the different days of the week there the admin can also disable the time spans uh, by entering the uh, or select by selecting the dates uh, that's the uh, date and the close at and close till uh, values there and they can update the status the admin can also disable the days uh, by choosing the close from and close to values here and updating the status as well now under the booking orders section the admin will find the complete list of booking products and uh, for those uh, the bookings are also visible so for example we have the bike riding booking for that uh, if i want to check the complete list of bookings that have been made i can tap on the bookings button thereafter and then we can find the complete list of orders that have been placed for the bike ride booking itself uh, so that's how you can check and filter out the booking orders uh, very easily for each of the booking products that you have created and coming to the settings section here you need to enter the google api key and this is used to uh, display the google maps uh, basically on the uh, booking product page whenever a customer taps on the uh, location of the event uh, or for the booking product uh, the google map displays the exact location of that particular uh, uh, event or the bookable product itself so these were the options that you get under the woocommerce booking system after the successful installation of this particular plugin now let's see how the admin would be able to create the different uh, bookable products so for uh, that uh, what we'll be doing is we'll be going to products and all products or we can go to the add products directly so here i can add a new bookable product by tapping on the add new button here uh, you need to enter the details of the uh, product like uh, the name uh, the description uh, the short description of the product there and uh, from the drop down here you have to select the bookable product for this after choosing the bookable product here you'll have this booking option just tap on that and here you can select the booking type as many bookings in one day or one booking for many days you can enable the booking status uh, for example if you want to create many bookings in one day just select that up and enter the start date and date uh, for this uh, booking product uh, set up the booking stock per slot enter the location of the booking there then uh, under the many bookings in one day you can set up the booking time slot in hours and minutes you can also set up the booking break time between the bookings as well here so you need to enter the the uh, uh, the, the integer values there and uh, below that you have the days of the week so you can set up the start time and the end date and time uh, of this uh, bookable uh, product 
and you can choose this status as open or close for each days of the week as required there and uh, thereafter you can save your particular product by tapping on the save button there after you enter the details there the same goes for the uh, one booking for many days as well just uh, select one booking for many days uh, enter the basic details like the start date end date uh, the booking stock uh, per slot the booking location there and then you can uh, set up the one booking for many days here as you can see and uh, you can select the start date uh, there uh, the start time the end date the end time and similarly if you want you can add more for for example for, from Tuesday start time is this the end date is Wednesday the end time is 12 so that's how you can create a one booking for many days uh, there and then you can easily tap on the save button to save your particular product itself so uh, that was much about the uh, WooCommerce booking and reservation system and I hope it helped you out in understanding the uh, workflow the same I've just given a brief overview uh, for more details you can check the user guide that I've attached within the description of this particular video for more details on how this particular booking reservation system works and if you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements then kindly do reach back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.ubidis.com Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.